Hey everybody, my name is Vicki Davis and I'm going to tell you in this video about how I do lesson planning and the software I use. So I use Planboard. It's very, very helpful and uh, saves me a lot of time, especially uh, after everything is first loaded into Planboard. And it's free for teachers, so you can use Planboard, you can use it on your iPad, your phone, your tablet, whatever device you use, you can use that. And I also use Chalk for curriculum, and we've started that with our whole school. Um, and I'm going to show you the back end and how I actually start at the higher level with my unit planning, and then I take it down to my lesson planning. Um, this semester I've been loading everything in, so you know my lesson planning time is, it still takes a little bit less than it did before with the previous system we were using, but I'm really excited about next semester when I'm going to be able to reuse the lesson plans that I created this semester. I'm also excited about how it lets me align with standards and some other very cool features. So again, check out Planboard, I'm going to show you what I do, and then your school should check out Chalk for the curriculum side of it. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, so this is Vicki Davis and I'm going to share a little bit about how I do my lesson planning and curriculum planning. Now I'm going to start with Planboard because that's free for teachers and anybody can use this resource. And you can see this is today. This is what I taught today. I have my lesson goals, my essential questions, lesson plan overview, all my assessment, all my other resources. You can see this is my uh, technology class talking about big data and how that works. Uh, including uh, some videos. Um, I've got Google Sheets basic um, lesson I taught, embedded the video and all this. Now this is where I have my plans that I do. Um, I can also look at it in week view, which is pretty cool. I've got a few more things to enter over here. Uh, I can look at month. I can look at it by unit. Um, there's a lot of ways that I can look at this content. So um, I'm going to go ahead and flip to next Monday and show you kind of how this works because I've already done my unit planning. And uh, I'm going to click here and I've attached this to unit six because we're going to be learning the figure keyboard next week. And I'm going to click on unit content. Now, I always like to put my blinker where it's about to go. So my lesson goals, and this is um, actually lesson uh, 36 for me. Uh, so I'm going to say cursor. And I've already put this in my unit uh, planning material here. So um, I've got it in my unit, and I've got it split out in my unit, which is really, really awesome. Uh, including the content that I'll be teaching uh, along with how I'm going to be doing the actual lesson. Um, so cursor and I'm just popping this in here and you can see you know this is pretty straightforward. Um, it's just a snap once I've planned my unit and I'm, I am going to customize things a little bit. Um, and there's my information there. Um, we also have Biblical integrations, which is there, and then any other resources I have. And then I just say, okay, this is um, 036, lesson one and three. And then I am ready to post this content into Google Classroom. And I've done all the heavy lifting on the back end. Now, if you don't have the chalk component where you plan out your units, you can still just throw it in here into your lessons. And the cool thing is I can say, I want to copy this lesson to another class. I can shift the lesson forward or back, which happens all the time, uh, depending on things that happen. And you can see I already had it preloaded with a template that my school has approved, which is really pretty cool. I can make changes. So this is like a Google Doc, and I can look back at the lesson history that I have. But I can also, let me go ahead and share um, tomorrow's lesson with these kids. So I'm going to hit Share, Google Classroom create a material. I have a little template that I like to use. And I'm going to pop the date in. And I'm going to say OK. And you can see it's popped in this cute little icon that I like to use. And I'm going to hit Share. I'm going to share this to the classroom. And Here's the cool part is I'm going to actually copy the lesson right here, copy that link, paste it in here because the the um, 
uh, parents, when they get the Google Classroom Guardian summaries, whatever is in the description is a hyperlink. So my parents will actually be able to click and go to this. And then I just organize the topics. I don't think I have a Thursday in there yet. So I'm going to create the topic. And I'm going to say we, we're pretty consistent in our school. So that's the 22nd. And it's 23B. And I'm going to say post. And then that will go into the Google Classroom. So, and it also goes to the parents. I can also print it out. Um, I usually print my whole week at a time. I do like to print them, but I have it also on my iPad. So that is how I do my lessons. I am going to take you on the back into curriculum. So you can kind of see how that looks. Um, and I can look at my curriculum map for technology technology and then I've got my seventh grade this is my current uh, curriculum map and you can see all the lessons I've already planned in here uh, I'm in the process of moving over um, our school is from another curriculum planning system because we love chalk and it's just so much better so I'm actually going to click make a new draft and you can keep multiple drafts and have copies of all of these drafts you can also leave feedback for other people and uh, people can leave feedback for you you can see the standards that I attach to this um, and I can you can also see the version history I actually have 10 older versions of this because I'm constantly updating it and plan board pulls from the latest published version so that lets people work on different versions and you don't publish it until you're ready for it to be pulled into teacher materials um, it's just a great workflow for schools that are able to do the chalk and the plan board but like I said you can still just do plan board and have that as well um, and you can see this map is making right here um, and I'm going to edit this draft because it's already there um, and you can see that I've got all the standards the core competencies you can see the pacing is kind of planned out the standards are there you can see the standards I've covered so far in the current materials um, which is fantastic and I can even look and say hey these are some standards that I need to go back and cover uh, that I'm actually getting ready to cover here pretty soon so I can look and see the standards that I need to be able to cover uh, in my material or pretty quickly um, spreadsheets I'm actually doing those now so I need to attach the standards to those um, I haven't attached those standards uh, to my spreadsheets yet I'm working on that now um, so this is the current unit that I'm getting ready to cover um, and I can go ahead in here and I can attach these are the standards for this particular unit I will cover all of these standards and put the material in there okay so I know I'm going to cover all of these standards and I'll cover them at different times so I will create um, you can see the standards here and I'll have the essential questions all the information that I plan out for the whole unit and then I'll split it into five pieces since I've planned this as a five day um, lesson so you can sort of see how that goes uh, when I'm ready to publish I hit options of publish I'm not ready yet because I've got some more work to do here um, but it's pretty cool because it does show you know your pacing standards you've covered um, everything that you've done and you can see now that I've got everything in the curriculum map that that's covered um, in my curriculum map so what I do is when I map out my semester I make sure I have all of my standards covered and I'm still obviously working on that a little bit um, it's really cool insights that you can get um, of my classes and what I taught and when I taught it uh, what I covered and my administrators can look and say hey she taught this here it has content it has standards it's imported content and which unit it is and we use plan board and we use uh, chalk at my school and absolutely love it I hope this gives you kind of just a little uh, back end uh, view and the thing I also like is that I tend to attach all the materials that I use so when I go back and I want to find them later they're really easy to find um, you can attach in resources you can attach um, things from Google Drive you can attach attachments assessments things even from OneDrive so there's a lot of stuff that you can attach as well as link from unit content. So hope this helps.